All right, so creating this isometric camera, Cinema 4D. So let me click on this camera. I'm gonna go over here to projection, isometric. Get inside my camera. And I can zoom out and pan. And I'll just find my object. Let me just scale it down a little bit more. Yes, yeah, a lot better. So now whatever shape I make, so where's the cylinder? You see the size? It's default size. I'll get my room group. There's T scale. We can scale it down. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, everything was extra large or scaled up, I should say. It's a bit more normal. We can make our room a little bigger. So let's say I like my camera view. I'll just go ahead and lock it. So right click, rigging tags, protection, get out the camera. Now just delete these right here. And remember if your viewport's all crazy inside of whack, you just grab this rotate. Right. Now let's put it on the ground. Now just adjust the camera one more time. S, I'll put it on the ground plane. Just let me get back in the camera. Delete that tag, pan around, find my room again. Now it's locked in. I'm trying to like center it. There you go. So I'll right click, rigging tags, do another protection. Now I'm locked in. So now when I go to model, making everything. Actually, let me see this. I wanna see if I can, I mean, I should be able to, no problem. Make everything a little bit closer to the center. So I should do this again. Delete this rigging tag. And then just pan my way on over. Cause this is where all the objects are gonna be created. My room S. Yes, yeah, so now when I create my objects, whatever it is, it's all right here, and then we can just start to model. Okay. Um, 